Ukraine is getting help from one of the wealthiest people alive, and our Sloan Glass has the story. Who is it? Elon Musk. Ooh. Yeah. I like that. <laughs> really <laughs> remarkable, right? Yes. Of all the people to get help from, he's a good one. He's a big one. Yeah. And right now, staying connected to the internet has been an ongoing challenge for the people of Ukraine. But Elon Musk is sending the country some aid. Elon Musk is sending another round of Starlink satellite internet terminals to Ukraine as Russian airstrikes intensify. The SpaceX terminals will provide some internet services in areas damaged by the Russian invasion. Ukrainian President Zelensky tweeted Musk, writing in part that he is grateful to him for supporting Ukraine with words and deeds. Zelensky even hinted at further collaboration with Musk in the future, saying that the two discussed possible space projects after the war. Last week, the SpaceX CEO sent the war-torn country antennas to help Ukrainians stay connected to the Internet. These satellites are essential in helping citizens and leaders communicate while attacks in cities across Ukraine continue. <laughs> Ukraine's vice prime minister has praised Starlink for saving lives. And SpaceX is taking extra steps to make Starlink more resilient against cyber attacks. But even so, Musk has warned Ukrainians to use this technology with caution. And, uh, and Gerard was clarifying yeah. earlier, it's not actually a satellite, it's a link. Yeah, right? like, you know, the satellites are already up in outer space. He's launched so many of these. But these are the, the terminals, the receivers that capture the right, signal. Right, how we connect to the internet. the internet. Mm. And I was like, man, I really want one of these. They look really neat. <laughs> the Wi-Fi here is not good enough for you, Oh, uh, It's not bad. It's like when I go out and about, especially if I'm out in the middle of nowhere right. and I'm covering weather, I would love a good Wi-Fi signal. Elon, hit me up, man. See, that's why we love Gerard. <laughs> All right, and this story is just so heartwarming. In the midst of war, there are still moments of joy and celebration. A Ukrainian couple. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to click on the red subscribe button below so you can get more of News Nation's fact-driven and unbiased coverage.